I want to welcome you back to Black Site tonight. We're going to talk about basically chaos erupted at Dalton's town meeting in which Tiffany Henyard was running the meeting, pushing, shoving, screaming. This is what you can expect when you have a rogue mayor in charge of your town or village. Let's take a look from NBC Chicago. Dalton Village board meeting ended abruptly last night. This came after a vote here to keep an investigation into the mayor and her spending going. NBC 5's Lisa Charia joins us here in studio to break it all down. Guys, tempers flared. Things got very, very heated last night. And the village meeting in south suburban Dalton turned into a shouting and even shoving match. Some residents were forced out of the village hall last night. Anger in that room. Dalton trustees, they voted to override Mayor Tiffany Hanyard's veto over the hiring of former Chicago Mayor Rory Lightfoot. She is attempting to look into allegations of corruption and reckless spending of village money. When Lightfoot tried to speak, her mic was turned off. But before things got extremely heated in this meeting, residents and trustees spoke about the mayor and how she handles their finances. We get treated like dirt. We haven't had enough of you and your administration. We got to vote all of them out. All of them out. The meeting was shut down after the shouting grew to a crescendo inside of the village hall. We should also note that village trustee and former Chicago community activist Andrew Holmes was in attendance. Now, this was the first time he's been seen at one of these meetings since sexual assault allegations surfaced against him. As for former Mayor Lori Lightfoot, after the meeting, she released a statement commending the trustees for overriding the mayor's veto and preventing attempts to stall an independent... In this is the problem. You have a mayor who, are, who is vetoing an investigation. She has been doing everything possible, her and Keith Freeman, from stopping people from investigating what she has done. And until she's arrested by the federal government and put before a jury, you truly won't know what's going on. She's tried to stop Lori Lightfoot last night. They overrid her veto four to two. She even got in an argument with Lori Lightfoot. I thought Lori was her friend. But this is how Illinois is run. They have the same problem over in Harvey. But this woman is running amok, destroying Dalton. And by the time she's finished, I figure that town or village will be $10 million in debt. And the only way you can get out of debt is by raising taxes, raising fees, and putting more pressure on people who are suffering from inflation, gas prices, higher rent. higher taxes but you have to deal with this situation because this woman will not step down she's making too much money she believes that she is the king or queen of Dalton you see her picture all over town but the trustees have fought time and time again to try and hold this woman accountable for her actions. She doesn't want anybody to look in to the receipts of how she paid to go to Vegas, how she paid to go for these trips, how she's paid for the SUV, how she's paying for her foundation. She has so many problems right now if she's not arrested by the federal government, hell, she should at least be arrested from the county or state government. But it seems like it's up to the federal government to come down on her because we know how Illinois is. And if Lori Lightfoot gets into the weeds, I believe that she's going to find a lot of things that she doesn't even like. Because when you got a criminal element and she's out there hiring criminals, putting them on the payroll, paying them high salaries, 
She's in control of the police department, basically threatening residents. If you don't pay the town what she wants or you don't basically pay a campaign donation to her, you don't get a licensing fee. You can't open up your business. This goes on and on and on. And it seems like it'll never stop. So the quicker she can be arrested, Andrew Holmes can be arrested, and the rest of her crew can be arrested, and I don't know how many is going to be arrested in the federal government investigation. I guess they still have a grand jury going. If they don't arrest her, this is bad for the town in the village. These people have had enough of dealing with this woman. Bad financial management not only can destroy you, but it can destroy the town that you know and love. And she doesn't love it. All she wants to do is be a dictator over people and let them know that she's the mayor. And it seems to not be working anymore. This woman is going to go down in flames. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. But she says she doesn't seem to know it. She better get her a good attorney. All I got to say about that. And she's having problems over in the other town. Because if you corrupt in one town, you corrupt, corrupt in another town. You can't keep doing this to citizens and expect for them to sit down and be quiet. It's not going to happen. Enough is enough. They want their town back, and they want it back as soon as possible. I'm glad you got channels on YouTube spreading the news. This is nationwide. I'm glad that people are out there basically saying, hey, she's got to go. And I even think that Lori Lightfoot is thinking about that she has to go. I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.